Hey, what to this? You know, I have an old Chromebook lying around, but it's getting a little old and out of date. So I thought, just why not install Linux on it? So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. All right, we're on the laptop. So we are holding down some keys here to get into recovery. Here we go. Here's where we want to be. Now we press Control D and then press enter so yeah now we gotta press ctrl d again to boot into the hard drive uh, not hard drive the emmc storage and yeah let's wait five minutes Everything is done and I also enabled some development features in that time lapse. So let's just get started. Connect to Wi-Fi. Oh flip I type my password one. Alright, here we go, connecting. Loading. Google Terms of Service. I accept determining device configuration. All right. A few moments later. All right. So we're in. So let's open up a, a terminal. Here we go. And we are now in Crosh. So now we need to run Shell to get from Crosh to Bash. And then we need to run Curl L zero blip L flip it in Swedish I need to fix that L0K Mr. Chromebox dot tech slash firmware util dot sh oh here we go downloading everything alright whoa okay we are in so we're going to go number two to install slash update the UEFI full ROM thing. Um, so it says IMPORTANT! Flashing the firmware has the potential to break your device, requiring relatively inexpensive hardware and some technical knowledge to recover. Not all boards can be tested prior to release and even then slight differences in hardware can lead to unforeseen failures. If you don't have the ability to recover from a bad flash, you're taking a risk. You have been warned. Also, flashing full ROM for firmware will remove your ability to run Chrome OS. Do you wish to continue? Yes. Note, after flashing the UEFI firmware, you'll need to install a UEFI compatible OS. Chrome OS will no longer be bootable. Alright, why? Create a backup copy of your stock firmware? No, I already have one. Alright, full ROM firmware successfully installed. The first boot after flashing may take substantially longer than subsequent boots, up to 30 seconds or, wo or more. Be patient and eventually your device will boot. Smiley face. Alright, firmware type, full ROM slash UEFI, pending reboot. Alright, let's press the R key and hit enter. This is the moment of truth. Did my flash succeed? We are now going to wait about 30 seconds and see if it worked. Whoa, 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 okay, 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 it, it worked. Nice. Now, if we go into the EMMC, it's not going to work because, well, it's Chrome OS. So now we're done with this Chromebook for now. And then now we need a laptop. So, yeah, let's get the laptop in, move the camera back a bit, and now it's time to install Belena. Etcher. A few moments later. All right, here we go. We have Belena Etcher. However, there's just one problem. We don't have an ISO. So let's go get one. So we're going to be installing Linux Mint, I have decided. So let's go into Linux Mint. Go into the home. Click download. 
and choose our desktop environment and uh, let's just go with cinnamon because why not and then oh here we go here's the mirrors so let's scroll all the way down to united kingdom and go that one so yeah let's just show all downloads clear all of the other things and zoom right in there and now let's start a time lapse Just and open up Belena Etcher. Now, I'm going to be using this as my media for installation. So I'm going to plug it in. And it's auto. Whoa, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pop ups just popped up. Anyway, let's go into this open this and yeah flash yes now let's zoom in on that progress bar oh the notifications are still going anyway let's start another time lapse ready and Over there boom back with the chrome all right so usb flash drive which has just finished its flash boot menu and boot off of the usb and this is shaky anyway let's start it Here we go we're on the desktop so let's install linux mint a few moments later so welcome why is this laptop so wobbly i know well english so let's go english uk next um connect to this network all right I'm going to connect. Here we go, preparing the boom to drivers. All oh, right, there we go. Continue. Oh, whoa, printer. It detected my printer. All right, multimedia codex. Yes. All right, here we go. This computer currently has no detected operating systems. What would you like to do? I would like to erase disk and install linux mint this reminds me of one of my old videos i did the old video is up in the icard where i installed linux mint 19.3 on this laptop let me know if you want to see a video like that in the future well yes i would like to write those changes to disk i'm gonna go to this back okay london continue all right, who am I? My name is Whale. I'm just going to call it Dell Chromebook. My username will be Whale770. A, A, continue. later we're done the last clip got cut short because well my phone died 
However, we have a fully functioning installation of Linux Mint 21.3 on this Dell Chromebook. So yeah, I'm not really going, going into a full test drive right now because, well, this is just a temporary camera setup. I'm literally holding the camera. But I'm gonna do a full test drive where we do some customizations and stuff later on. So yeah, guys, I'll see you later. Bye. Alright, around 45 minutes later, I'm back. So let's start exploring. Let's first open up the um settings. I have not used this version of Mint before. And it's not it's not working. Alright. Let's look up themes. Just quit that theme. Oh gosh, this is not working at all. Maybe some updates will help. Oh, whoa, 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 okay then. Let's, what is Mint X? Ugly Mint L? Yeah, I can work with this. Let's change that to purple. Is that to dark mode? Here we go, here we go, alright. Let's go advanced. The cursor's good, the buttons are good, the icons are good, and the desktop's good. Alright now. Set this background. Change the desktop background. Let's pick. Let's just see what we got here. updates here and yeah I like this background we're gonna keep it what what is going on here there we go this thing is slow let's open up Firefox and we'll go to website I know which one but let's try youtube.com slash at whale tech Zero seven, and accept. Hey, here we go. Subscribe. Oh, I need to sign in. Well, oh, I, 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 I'm clicking random things that I don't want to be clicking. Video. Hey, welcome to this. Alright. So, so, this is working. Oh, you God, it's it? lagging. Why not install Windows 7 on an old computer I have? Well, that's exactly Can I what we're doing. Go full in screen. Video. We are installing Windows 7 Home Premium on an old Asus Fire X1430. Okay, let's. 360. That looks so bad! Stop! Alright, so that didn't work. I mean, it did work, but it was really lagging. Only because I'm running an update in the back. And I think this kernel's pretty outdated. Oh, it is really outdated. Wow! Anyway, let's just do some panel customization. edit mode. So move that over there for funsies and, and yeah, let's move, move this. Move. Move it up to the top. Oh, come, come on. Menu. What the flip? I want the menu. Alright, there we go. No, I don't like that. Let's move that. my phone. Anyway, 
like, can I move this to the... Panel settings. Intelligently, if I can, intellig intelligently hide. Make it a bit smaller. That is way too flippin' small. I want it. Alright. Um, yeah, that looks all good. Can I alt oh, F4 out of that? Just turn that off. Yeah, I moved the... I've moved the menu back. Look, I need a mouse. I'm gonna... Let's go into... Thunderbirds on here, which is nice. Preferences. Redshift. What's redshift? Color temperature adjustment tool. Oh, okay. Virtual keyboard. Let's see what we got here. We got settings. Hopefully it works this time. General. Hey, it actually works now. The settings app works. Wait a minute. Reboot required. So instead of rebooting, I'm gonna log out because I do not think I'm using Wayland. I think this is just regular old X11 that I'm that I was just using. Oh, I was using X11. Cinnamon on Wayland. See how this works. Here we go. This is Wayland. There's no frozen oh there we go now it's working yeah right clicking on the desktop isn't working yeah and there's no backgrounds yet no desktop backgrounds yet let's open the terminal go loose let's go echo task into our test.txt and let's go cat well cat test.txt there we go that command worked and yeah guys that about concludes this episode if you enjoyed it leave a like if you want to see more subscribe if you have something to say leave a comment and yeah that's going to be it from me for now bye